Hello, welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at May 31st, 2024's Odd Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. Uh, we are also occasionally joined by Philip Newman. Um, yeah, he's also around. Hey, give, him a, give him a smile and a thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up emoji in his comments. Um, we at Gas HQ make genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, these are variant Sudokus that you may not have seen before, um, but we do them anyway, and they should hopefully be very reasonable. Um, you can find the link to this puzzle in the description below, along with Hat Times. Hat Times are our system where you can, you know, time your progress and see how close you get. Two hats is for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty quick time, Everyone gets a consolation dinosaur because we love you all. You don't have to have it if you don't want, but like, you know, it's there. Um, let's get into it. So, today's puzzle is odd Sudoku. So, if you've never seen a Sudoku before, um, each box, each row, and column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Um, finally, all of these cells are gray circles. And any digit with a gray circle must be odd. That's it. That's all you need to know. Um, do give this one a go. It's a delight. Um, and I do love it. Uh, links in the description, but I'm going to go now. So, um, key thing to remember is in a Sudoku, there are no digits. Now, in the digits 1 to 9, we have 5 odd digits and 4 even. So, if these 4 are odd, and this one's odd, must mean that these two are even. Similarly, we can do that same trick across the board. So here, these two are even, so these two must be the evens, these two must be even. If you've already spotted the next step after that, fantastic, love that for you, but we'll get to that. So let's go around the board. Through four, uh, this cell is seen by six, so this must be eight and then six. Uh, four and six here. This cell must. Be, uh, this cell C. Four and six. So this one must be eight. This must be two. And down here, six, eight, four, and two tells which way around these four go. And then finally, two and eight left to place. This must be eight. This must be two. Cool. Now we have odd, 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 odd. So those are five odd digits. So the meaning that this is two and eight. Uh, similarly, three and nine, bar, bar, bar are five odd digits. This must be six and eight. That's uh, six and eight. Eight. Uh, we need to place a two and a four up here. That's two, that's four. This two is doing so much work. It's ridiculous. Two down here, must go here, we'll bring eight place in here. Now, um, if you already spotted this, well done. Up here are uh, the only two bits we can place. So two, four, has to be six and eight. We can't quite do that just yet, but we can come back to it. Let's go down here, this is four and six. Uh, because how else are we going to place four even digits? Over here, this must be four and six. Then this one over here must be two and four. We can actually do these ones uh, because we have a two here, four and two, four and six. Now, uh, let's have a look at what's next. And the answer is, let's place the rest of our even digits in this whole grid. So eight, to mean that we can't put eight in any of those cells. This eight down here means that eight has to go in this corner, which will unwind all of our previously pencil marked pairs. Then, just using basic Sudoku techniques, uh, four must go there, and six goes here. Now, I should get this far without color. We're not going to do it. But here's how to kind of get the rest of this. So. Uh, in here, we need to place, in this row, we need to do 1, 7, and 9. So, 
because in row three, sorry. So because one up here sees both of these cells, this one must be one. Let's go down here. Uh oh, well, let's not go down there. Uh one over here sees both of these cells, so this must be one. Now five sees this cell, this cell, and this cell. So five must go in both of these. And now uh, we have just a little bit more to go. Uh, these have to be three and nine. This three sees that cell. Uh, five and seven. Uh, we've got five at that seven at where I've just placed that seven. Now we need to place a seven and nine. Uh, we 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 can come back to that. One and three. One tells us which way around this goes. Nine here. Nine and seven. Uh, Three and nine left to place in row nine. Nine there tells us it must go this way around. Three there. Seven and nine left to place up here. We can actually do that now. Nine tells us that this must be seven. Seven, seven. And now we can really complete this puzzle. So that's three, this is five. Uh, one, seven, and nine left to place there. Nope. Uh, 179 note. Uh, but let's just do the center box. That's a five because we have fives looking at the other two cells. So this is five. Nine. Tells us which way around these. So much better. Um, whilst in the title this might have been described as an odd Sudoku, I think this has been a pretty wonderful examination of the sorts of cool geometry tricks that you can do with this. Anyway, this has been Odd Sudoku by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy. Um, wherever you are in the world, have a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.